Thomas Aquinas was born in 1225 in Roccasecca, Italy. He was the youngest of nine children born to Count Landulf of Aquino and Theodora of Tino. Thomas's father was a powerful nobleman, and his mother was a devout Christian. Thomas was educated at the Benedictine Abbey of Monte Cassino. He showed a great aptitude for learning, and he was eventually sent to the University of Naples to study theology. Passionate about philosophy? Show some love by liking, subscribing, and joining Philosophy Kid. Thanks for your support, and warm greetings from your fellow philosophy subs at Philosophy Kid. At the University of Naples, Thomas was exposed to the works of Aristotle. He was so impressed by Aristotle's thought that he decided to devote his life to studying and teaching philosophy. In 1244, Thomas joined the Dominican Order, a religious order founded by Saint Dominic. The Dominicans were known for their commitment to intellectual inquiry, and Thomas quickly became one of the order's most promising scholars. In 1252, Thomas was sent to Paris to study theology at the University of Paris. He was a brilliant student, and he soon earned a reputation as one of the most learned theologians in Europe. In 1256, Thomas was awarded his doctorate in theology. He then returned to Italy, where he taught at the University of Naples and the University of Rome. In 1265, Thomas was summoned to the papal court in Lyon, France. He served as a theologian for Pope Urban IV and Pope Clement IV. Thomas Aquinas died in 1274 at the age of 49. He was canonized as saint in 1323 by Pope John XXII. Thomas Aquinas is considered one of the greatest philosophers and theologians of all time. His Summa Theologica is a comprehensive work of theology that synthesizes Christian doctrine with Aristotelian philosophy. The Summa Theologica has been studied and debated by theologians and philosophers for centuries, and it continues to be a major influence on Western thought. Here is a more detailed account of Thomas Aquinas' life and work. Early Life and Education Thomas Aquinas was born in Roccasecca, Italy, in 1225. He was the youngest of nine children born to Count Landulf of Aquino and Theodora of Tino. Thomas's father was a powerful nobleman, and his mother was a devout Christian. Thomas was educated at the Benedictine Abbey of Monte Cassino. He showed a great aptitude for learning, and he was eventually sent to the University of Naples to study theology. At the University of Naples, Thomas was exposed to the works of Aristotle. He was so impressed by Aristotle's thought that he decided to devote his life to studying and teaching philosophy. Joining the Dominican Order In 1244, Thomas joined the Dominican Order, a religious order founded by Saint Dominic. The Dominicans were known for their commitment to intellectual inquiry, and Thomas quickly became one of the order's most promising scholars. Thomas's father was not happy with his son's decision to join the Dominicans. He had hoped that Thomas would become a powerful nobleman like himself. So, Thomas's father had Thomas kidnapped and taken back to Roccasecca. Thomas was held prisoner in Roccasecca for a year. During that time, he was subjected to all sorts of pressure to renounce his vows and leave the Dominican order. But Thomas refused to give in. He eventually escaped from Roccasecca and rejoined the Dominicans. Studies in Paris In 1252, Thomas was sent to Paris to study theology at the University of Paris. He was a brilliant student, and he soon earned a reputation as one of the most learned theologians in Europe. In 1256, Thomas was awarded his doctorate in theology. He then returned to Italy, where he taught at the University of Naples and the University of Rome. Service to the Papal Court In 1265, Thomas was summoned to the Papal Court in Lyon, France. He served as a theologian for Pope Urban IV and Pope Clement IV. Thomas's work at the Papal Court was cut short by his death in 1274. He was only 49 years old. The Summa Theologica Thomas Aquinas's most famous work is the Summa Theologica. It is a comprehensive work of theology that synthesizes Christian doctrine with Aristotelian philosophy. The Summa Theologica has been studied and debated by theologians and philosophers for centuries, and it continues to be a major influence on Western thought. The Summa Theologica is divided into three parts. The first part deals with God and the Trinity. The second part deals with man and his ultimate end. The third part deals with the sacraments and the last things. Thanks for learning with me. If you're interested in philosophy and the great thinkers of history, you'll love my channel. 
I create engaging content that breaks down complex ideas and makes philosophy fun and accessible. So, if you want to keep exploring the world of philosophy with me, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Together, we can build a community of philosophy lovers and continue to learn and grow together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video!